This is another tutorial uh, video. In this video, we are going to look at the preparation of the second section in the profit and loss account. The section, of course, is called profit and loss account. I have uh, on the screen a list of uh, account balances. And using these account balances, we are going to prepare the second section, the profit and loss account. And I have the format on the slide as well. So we are going to look at each item, discuss that, and then bring it to the profit and loss account on the appropriate side, depending upon whether it is an expense or an income. The first item is uh, gross profit. The gross profit here uh, uh, is you know, calculated in the first section of the uh, profit and loss account. So let's say the first section was prepared in the trading account, we found the gross profit uh, equal to 101,000. So in the uh, profit and loss account, we write gross profit brought down. So we are just beginning. You have to assume that trading account was prepared just before this. So 101,000 is the gross profit. Then you have carriage outward. The outward uh, word refers to the direction of the goods. Goods are going out of the business, meaning you did some sales and when now you are giving a free home delivery to the customer. So you are spending on transportation practically. So this amount is an expense and this amount, uh, this item is also an indirect uh, expense for you. So you will show this on the debit side in the profit and loss account. Carriage outward 2500. So let me write it here. Two thousand and five hundred salaries are five thousand and five hundred. We are assuming that these are also indirect expenses. Five thousand and five hundred. These are salaries. You have rent forty one hundred. Again, assuming this is indirect expense, you pay rent. Fire insurance premium 900. Uh, this is the amount you pay every year to, to avail this benefit of fire insurance cover. Fire insurance premium. Then you have bad debts. Bad debt is a loss. We show this in the profit and loss account as well. 2100 bad debts. Income tax paid is 3500. Income tax is a, is a mandatory expense. You have to pay it on the profit. Typically, you write it at the bottom because uh, the income tax amount is calculated based upon the profit that you earn during the year. However, uh, we have been given this amount right away. So I'm just going to write it at the bottom here. Then you have another insurance that you have 3000. 3000 insurance premium another type of insurance premium and this is not the uh, personal life insurance premium of the owners of the business. The entity principle, the very first principle of accounting uh, says that owners are separate from the business. So all these insurances being paid are not, uh, you know, individuals insurances. These are insurances for the purpose of business. Now you may very well pay uh, the employees insurance, which can be part of the employee welfare expenses, the salary package that, that is offered to the employees. That is a different kind of expense if you are paying medical insurance. But still companies do not offer life insurance uh, to their employees. Uh, they only offer the medical, the health insurance cover basically. All right, insurance premium uh, 3000 is done. Then you have discount debit balance. Uh, we know only expenses and losses have the debit balance. So this is an expense. Discount is kind of a promotional expense. You, uh, you are asking people to buy from you and you offer them discounts or pay you earlier and then you offer them discount. So this is going to go to the debit side, 500. This is discount allowed to customers. Then you have interest income. This is an income. This will go to credit side. This is non-operating income. 
1500 this income has added to the total money that we have earned during the year printing and stationery 250 so 250 printing and stationery rates and taxes 350 350 rates and taxes traveling expense expenses 200 traveling expenses and then you have trade expenses as well after that the amount is 300 finally you have rent received when you are receiving it this is clearly an income and you are subletting you know your building or something thousand this is an income this is a non-operating income you did not uh, so rent earned on building so you did not set up the business to you know uh, rent out the buildings this is a side income this is an additional income this is a non-operating income not primary uh, to the functioning of the business this is not for which business was started all right so the total income and total expenses you have everything on the uh, on the sheet and now all you need to do is uh, sum these things up and the total comes out to be 103 500 this is the total money that you have out of which you are going to spend on a list of expenses the list of expenses has been provided to us as well so 103 500 and the balancing figure is going to be our net profit net profit uh, carried down and this is a balancing figure balancing figure right when you do this total uh, this total and take it out from 103 500 the profit amount comes out to be 80,300 there you go this is how you prepare a profit and loss account now couple of important pieces of information this net profit this net profit is what is called uh, net income of the business net income of the business this net income is also called the bottom line because this line is at the bottom of the income statement this is the profit made during the year after taking care of both direct expenses and indirect expenses all the operating non-operating expenses so this is the this is called bottom line or called net income now there is something called income which is the revenue uh, you know the sales during the year which is called a top line so when you prepare let me go to the next slide when you prepare an income statement or profit and loss account here you have sales here and you have your cost of goods sold and then you have your gross profit right this is the first section and you have all your you know direct expenses etc etc taken care of and then you have all the rest of expenses and then you have your net profit right and the total you have gross profit here you have other incomes here so what i just said is this is called net income this is also called the bottom line not the english language meaning of bottom line but in financial uh, the world of finance and accounting the bottom line is the last line in the profit and loss account this is the profit what is the bottom line of the business that's the net profit and this is the top line because this is what is going to result in the bottom line sales the revenue made during the year right so there you go i have introduced you to two new terms sales and uh, top line and the bottom line sales are top line they are also called revenue all right and then you could think about sale plus all of this as a revenue and so on but if, if you think about top line you're talking about sales of the company okay let me stop here uh, in this uh, tutorial we learned uh, to prepare the profit and loss account we looked at a range of item a list of expenses which can be categorized as indirect expenses but whenever you have more information you use the principle uh, which is whether these expenses are relating to manufacturing of the product or uh, regarding the administrative expenses or regarding selling uh, or, or the finance cost of the business 
In those, in that case, this will be the expenses will be categorized as indirect expenses.